Howdy y'all, welcome to the Dirt Road Grocery Store. So you want to buy a turkey compact and learn how to play it. You haven't learned yet, you haven't even started, but what's the best one to get for a beginner? Well, it looks a lot like this. Or it might look like this. The thing these colors I'm showing you have in common is that they're all Jordan style, more or less, variations thereon. And they don't have a whole lot of constriction. You can see slap through that one, can't you? Well, the reason you don't want a lot of constriction is because it's easy to pull on. <laughs> to get started. And it's kind of like when you learn how to drive. You don't want to start learning how to drive in a Porsche or a Ferrari. Because if you've been in one, those things are touchy. Uh, you can wind up in a ditch in one of those. You want to start driving with your old four-wheel drive pickup. Now, later on down the road, as you get better, and you're not fighting that steering wheel anymore, you might want to go to something that has a little more constriction and will also have some little finer features in the internals to help you do some things that you couldn't quite do with that old Jordan-style car. For instance, this here uh, danger field, so you can't hardly see through that one, can you? If you start out with this, you're going to fight it. You're not going to like it. It's a very good car operate. And you're not going to learn that right off the bat. One of the things people forget when they start out is that this is where they are. And this is how it ought to be. And this is the best. Or this is the best. Or any of them. It is better. However, you forget that there's a time and a place for everything. And sometimes you need to know all the variations. You need to be able to crank on one. You need to be able to take this old Spanish dagger and crank on it like a jake to make a gobbler mad. You need to be able to do that sometimes. So you need to learn at the beginning when you're really getting on one and you still don't know what you're doing yet and you're just trying to make it happen. You really need to be able to do that. And then also later on down the road it is also helpful to not have to. easy as pie. But you're not going to learn that off the bat. You need to start at the beginning. Learn that old cranking. That took some effort. And then you will progress if you start at the beginning and keep going. There are at least three ways to play this car. One is you kind of cranking that in front of your mouth. Pull it, man. Pull it. And then later on, you're going to get kind of sippy. So you're starting at the front of your mouth, and as you get more relaxed, it takes it less effort. So you suction starts right here. That friction point people talk about. And then you get to more of the soda sauce dripping. The soda straw sipping people talk about. Which is more the entirety of your mouth. And then... You may go crazy and want to learn how to play like uh, Reverend Farmer that people talk about. I don't necessarily recommend it. The reason, now it's good. There's no doubt about it. And it kills turkeys. And you can learn if you pay attention. But you're going to have to figure it out on your own because I don't know if anybody's going to tell you. But it's back here in your throat. And it's fuzzing out at your lips. And if you learn how to play that way first, good luck figuring out the other ones because it is so different. In fact, I kind of just walked away from it after I figured it out. I said, I can't do this and those other kinds, and I need those other kinds. So I recommend you start out with a low constriction call. You can't get a Kenny Morgan spatting standard because he left this many years ago, unfortunately. Uh, but other people make them. Uh, there's a good copy that's available. I got this recently. It's a different call. This is a Moss, Moss's Creek. Wingwood. He's on Facebook. And it's a very close copy of the dagger. Uh, you can't quite get as fine a sound out of it, but it sounds like a turkey. And I guarantee you learn how to play it. You can kill one with it. And it's cheap. You don't have to spend prohibitive amounts of money just to start out. So that's your best beginner call. 
you can make one yourself. You can follow the instructions you find for making a cane yelper, or you can just get a coffee stirrer, a soda straw, and old 20 gauge shotgun shells, and some hot glue, and put one together. Go with it till you get to it sound right. It's not going to be anywhere near so good, but it's good to start with for a beginner. I took my four-year-old boy out in the woods after he played with these one, for, one of these for a while. Had him gobbling the head off. I ain't lying. He was just sitting in there tooting on it. <laughs> Best call for a beginner. Easy to look through. Easy draw. This Permar is a good call, but don't start on it. Can you see through that thing? All right, y'all. That's all I got to tell you without confusing you too much more. Uh, the best advice I can give you is get one of these. Take your time with it. You're probably investing years in learning how to use one of these things. Don't necessarily expect to kill one your first year with it. Maybe just have it to play with. Uh, spend some time at it. And as you go along, you develop a collection of calls, and you'll progress. And then you'll have a great range of things you can do with a turkey trumpet. But one piece of advice I want to give you is don't get discouraged because somebody who's an expert at it tells you it's got to be a certain way. Another piece of advice is softer is better. You can take one of these calls, and you can hit that gobbler in the beak at 400 yards without hardly making a sound. It is so quiet, but it's directional. You can put it on him at the volume a hen would put it on. Not cranking like he is on a big box call or something loud, just like a turkey. And that's why it works so well. It's just like a turkey. Well, that's the Dirt Road Grocery Store. We appreciate you, and good luck with it. Keep on the sunny side, always on.